Hello, so we are starting off this Draconathon vlog pretty strong. I am going to the nail salon. And later today, we have our first Draconathon live show, which is very exciting. So I'm first going to grab a coffee, and then we're gonna get these bad boys done. I've only gone to get my nails done twice, like in my whole life. So I have a like reference picture. I'm not sure if that's something they can do there. I don't know. It's it's really it's really not that like major, but I don't know. So we'll see how they turn out. I'm really excited. I brought two books, um, and I'm listening to an audiobook right now. I just started listening to the audiobook for The Fires of Vengeance, which is the sequel to The Rage of Dragons, which was our group book last year. <sighs> Very exciting. <laughs> So, so far, I'm only like a chapter or so in, but it is already a strong start. If you've read Rage of Dragons either last year with us or just on your own, first off, amazing book. Absolutely fantastic. Second off, the ending. Fan fantastic. So, it's been like a year though since I read that ending and immediately I'm like tossed back in the story and it's great. So yeah, you can tell I'm nervous. I haven't like vlogged in a while. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go get my coffee, get my nails done and then we will talk. Ah! Oh, one last thing. Um, the other book that I brought with me is The Natural History of Dragons, which I'm very excited to read. I heard from quite a few people that it's very much like a Virgo book. And I'm not that much of an astrology person, but like, I've heard also from many people that I'm very typical Virgo. So we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> and I'm really excited to start reading it. <laughs> You're doing great, Soleil. <laughs> oh, we got a couple people saying hi for the vlog. And my battery's dying, but people are there and they're saying hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, now everyone's saying hi! Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Ooh! Aww, so Thank sweet. Thank you guys for saying hi. <laughs> it's always like kind of nerve wracking because, hello, Vincent. <laughs> so it's always nerve wracking because <laughs> you're like, oh, say hi to the vlog, and if no one says it, you're like, anyway. <laughs> anyway, everyone said hi, and it was great. <laughs> Hello, so I just completed the opening live show for Draconathon, which was so much fun. It was lovely. We talked a little bit about last year's Draconathon and the schedule for this year and what everyone's reading, our TBRs, what we're all excited about, and ah, it was so much fun. So I can't wait to start off <laughs> this readathon. And on that note, I did make it to chapter three of Blaze Wrath Games, which is exciting. If I haven't mentioned it yet, Blaze Wrath Games is a reread for me. You can actually watch the vlog in which I read the arc that I got for Blaze Wrath Games last year during last year's Draconathon. So good times all around. I really enjoyed it and I'm excited to reread it, especially because I'm rereading it as a finished copy now. So I'll be interested to see if I actually notice any differences. I do have a terrible memory, so there's a very high chance <laughs> that I, I won't I won't notice any differences. But um, in case I didn't show off my nails yet, these are how, this is how they turned out from earlier. So yeah, I really like them. I have never done anything like this before. I saw a picture on Pinterest and I was like, "Can you do this?" And they were like, "Yeah," and I was like, <gasps> and they were like, "Okay." <laughs> so I only got my nails done like twice. So, yeah, that's mainly it for today. Oh, I also listened to a couple chapters of The Fires of Vengeance, which is the sequel to Rage of Dragons, which was our group book last year, which is very exciting. And really digging it so far. I like how it it kind of recaps some of the details from the first book, like within the first uh, chapter or so, which I really appreciate because, as I just mentioned, terrible memory. So... It jump-started a lot of, a lot of uh, what the book was about from last year, so that was very helpful. 
and it kind of just kicks us like right back into not exactly like into the action but just right into the story like it doesn't really dilly dally a lot besides for the recap so i love that and now i'm going to do a face mask and keep on reading because that is what we're all about hello so it is now sunday i have my croissant it's uh, flat and sad and i've got my matcha which i am running very low on vanilla so let's hope that this doesn't kill me well that is rough All right, I'm gonna have to sacrifice the remainder of my vanilla to fix that. But in the meantime, um, what's my plan for today? There is no plan. Uh, that's the beauty of Sundays. I don't make plans. I was going to go out and get my croissant. Do I regret not going out to get my croissant? Yes, I definitely do. But we're here now, and we have we have this meager, sad little. No, it's good. It's a it's a Costco croissant, so you can't can't go against the Costco croissant, it's just fine. But I am trying to decide which book to physically start on because I'm listening to the audiobook of The Fires of Vengeance. But when I'm at my lunch break at work for the rest of this week, I've got some options. So I could just like bring my physical paperback of the fires of vengeance and just like double double down on audiobook with paperback it's a choice um and then possibly just finish that this week or i could do natural history of dragons or six crimson cranes because i am going to be reading blaze rock games throughout the whole month so that's kind of going to be like going on in the background Six Crimson Cranes or Natural History of Dragons. By the time you see this, I would have already chosen and I will already be reading, but you know, it's nice to talk things over. So yeah, I have no plan for the day. I have to do some household things, not that fun, funky and fresh. That's it, yeah. I might go to the bookstore, even though I shouldn't be buying any books. I might go actually get that croissant. I might go grocery shopping. That's what we have to look forward to, so I will see you later. Hello, I'm not wearing my glasses right now, so I really hope I'm in focus because I can't really see my face. But I have listened to a few more chapters of The Fires of Vengeance today while I was just doing some errands, chores around the house. And so far, like still loving it. I think I already mentioned um, before that the way that it like recalls what happened in the previous book is very helpful. But now we're getting like a little bit more into the action. So loving that. And honestly, I'm on like such a role with it too and I think I could maybe finish it this week like a, a bold thought very bold thought but with um, how much I can read during my lunch breaks I think I can do it so I think I'm also going to start reading Six Crimson Cranes this week because we're just making bold choices all over the place today. <laughs> um, and I actually just did a try chapter tag thing this morning where I read a chapter of five different books and two of those books were Draconathon books. Um, one was The Natural History of Dragons, or A Natural History of Dragons, and the other was Six Crimson Cranes, and I'm deciding to prioritize Six Crimson Cranes because it's a little more fast paced, so I think if I start off the month with that, then I'll have more time to focus on A Natural History of Dragons later during the month because it's a little slower paced. So that is the plan. 
But during this month, I will also be reading a couple contemporary romances that have nothing to do with Draconathon. <laughs> so I will also be reading Jay's Gay Agenda this week. Um, just at night, probably before I could go to bed and all of that, just to kind of unwind. So I know it has nothing to do with Draconathon, but you know, it's a good time all around. And when I read the first chapter of it for the try the chapter tag, it was so good. Like what a strong start. So I'm really looking forward to it. But besides for that, it's now like 6.30. I had some very mediocre Thai takeout. <laughs> I haven't found a great Thai place here yet in DC. I know there's gotta be one out there, but honestly my Thai food like restaurant from back home was just so beyond amazing. And I've eaten there for the past 20 years of my life. So, you know, it's a, it's a tough bar to live up to. So it's gonna take a while to find something that I really like here, but so far, one made me feel queasy, uh, not today, but a different day I tried a Thai place and I did not feel good afterwards. And then um, the other two places were just kind of meh. Yeah, so, you know, we're, we're looking around, we're gonna find something. But that was mainly it today. I also watched quite a bit of Schitt's Creek today because we're just we're just in that in that mental space right now that I need to rewatch something and I've only watched Shit's Creek either once or twice and I watched it the first time um last year and I know you know when I was having a really bad time so I figured it would be a good time to rewatch and yeah, that sets. Those are the updates for today, but I will check in if I read any more. Otherwise, I think I might switch to reading some of Jay's Gay Agenda for this evening. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. Hello, so it is now Tuesday. I didn't really vlog much yesterday because I basically went to work, got back, ate some dinner, and that was that was kind of it. <laughs> so I think we're still kind of figuring out the vlogging, reading, everything else situation. Keep in mind. <laughs> so I have this new like 40 hour work week job standard, right? Um, but I'm also starting full-time grad school in a couple of weeks, so I'm a little worried. Um, we've already had a couple, um, you know, moments today <laughs> thinking about that quite a bit, and I'm not going to spend any more time thinking about it because we've already had that time today. So, you know what? We're good for today. We're, 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 we're set. We're all settled. Um, instead... <laughs> While my voice keeps getting higher, we're going to talk about books. So let me grab a book. The book has been acquired. So I have been reading Six Crimson Cranes during my lunch break um, every day. And I'm currently on page 75. And I think it's like 400 or so pages long. It doesn't look like I'm that far into it, but like... I'm like a, I'm like a decent, I'm like a chunk into it, like it's fine. Um, the thing is, the writing style is not my favorite, and that's very much just dependent on me, because I have recently noticed that I don't enjoy young voiced protagonists as much as I used to, so like most middle grade probably won't appeal to me most like younger ya or teen novels don't really appeal to me i didn't know going into this that like the protagonist is like either 16 or 17 but the way it's told it's told as like a fairy tale like a children's fairy tale would which is awesome but that's not what i like to read so I'm kind of stressed because 
Like I'm 75 pages in and I'm just not feeling it. I think I'm going to read it for one more like lunch session tomorrow and we'll see how much further I get and how I'm feeling about it because I'm kind of considering DNFing it right now. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of stressed about it. And this is fulfilling two prompts. It's fulfilling Chi Wen and it's fulfilling Nana Bolele, I think, right? Yeah, 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 because Chinese origin and beautiful cover. Those were the two prompts it fulfills. I do have like my other books that I'm reading. One of them does fulfill the poetry prompt. Of course, I don't remember which one it is, but somewhere there's poetry and um, the beautiful cover prompt can basically be fulfilled by any of the books. So prompt wise, I would be fine if I DNF'd it. I just feel bad because I was really looking forward to this book and like, it's not the book's fault. It's just my taste in reading. So yeah, we'll see. I'm still in like the introduction of the book and I think like the rising tension is starting to happen. So I want to at least get past that so i'm a little more into the story before i make any big decisions also just to be clear in case you don't know um when i dnf like it's not it's not like a permanent hard dnf i've like dnf'd a lot of books in the past and for me it's more like i don't feel like reading this right now and i'm just going to put this down and maybe one day i'll feel back up to it and open it up again so yeah we'll see that's mainly the update i have listened to more of the fires of vengeance i don't know what chapter i'm on because the chapters have like subsections that like so it's like chapter one but then there's like a chapter within a chapter that has like a name title so i don't remember where i'm at but like i'm getting i'm getting pretty far because i'm listening to it during my commute and so far like we're already like in the thick of the action again and there's like some romantic tension that i am digging and like oh my goodness evan winter first off phenomenal writing and the audiobook narrator just like for the rage of dragons the audiobook narrator is so flipping good like do you ever hear like a mediocre narrator or like a just fine like neutral narrator and you're like all right yeah they're reading me a book like sure okay and then you hear a really good one and you're like oh, now that that is reading like ooh. so digging it that's it for the updates i'm also reading um not for draconathon but just for my own time i'm reading jay's gay agenda and i'm like a hundred and like 50 pages in like whatever no big deal just you know living my best life having a gosh darn good time so those are the updates i am now going to lie down maybe maybe read some of jay's gay agenda maybe take a bath who knows What is up, you bodacious bumblebees? It is Wednesday and I am exhausted. <laughs> it's really not a drive. It's just a 40 hour week, but I'm, I'm still getting used to it. So I am a tired bean, but um, I did go by the grocery store. By the way, you can probably hear my air conditioning. No, I am not turning it off. You're going to have to deal with it. I. I don't know what to tell you. It, it is, it is permanent. It is happening. So I picked up these bad boys, dragon puffs. It says fire breathing with probiotics. So I'm a little afraid of what exactly that means. I know there's like, so there's sorghum grain meal. Mm. sunflower oil nutritional yeast chili pepper sugar sea salt onion powder garlic powder and then all of the other acids and whatever but 
I am, I am very uncertain how this is gonna be, but you know what? Dragon themed readathon. If there's ever a time for me to try to figure out what these taste like. Also, this picture just does not look like a good time. They need to step up their advertising. Vegan Rob's, listen Rob, we need to have a chat because this is not, is not appealing. I'm a little afraid what will happen when I pour them out of the bag. But you know, they're vegan, they're plant-based. Let's do it. All right, here we go. You know, I don't know if they look better or worse than in the picture. They're more orange, so I appreciate that. They smell really familiar. I mean, I think they basically just smell like chili powder, so. No, but they remind me of something else. They're not bad, to be clear. They're not bad. I do wish they tasted like a little more than just chili powder, but it's basically just chili powder. But as like a, as like a snack puff, they're not bad. I do 100% prefer cheese puffs to this, but there's a little something something there. You know, I think I would prefer these if they had like that kind of like hint of lime thing and if they weren't puffs, but like Cheeto type shape, you know, like the more condensed so there's more crunch and less like you know, I think that. Anyways, let's talk about reading. So um, this morning, I had to put a book in my bag, right? I did not reach for six crimson cranes. So I think for now we have soft DNF'd. And I instead brought Natural History of Dragons. I read about a chapter during my lunch break. Good stuff, I'm now on chapter three. I also listened to more of the audiobook from Fires of Vengeance. I really need to check where I am. I'm like at least 20% into the audiobook though, but I don't remember what chapter it was. But yeah, so far, Fires of Vengeance, fantastic. You know what? The more of these I eat, the more I kind of like them. You get used to the chili powder, like powdery texture taste. I think I'm gonna give these like a solid three out of five. Not bad. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking. The wind blowing in the trees. Oh no. Oh my lord. You know, I give up. I give up. What is up? We are back. <laughs> Today has been a day. It started off real bad. I got a bad email, which we're not gonna talk about. Um, I think everything's gonna be fine, but uh, really stressful start. So, because of that, um, I made it through my work day. Everything was fine, we made it through. I got this here, boba tea. It's a passion fruit green tea with um, the boba, so a good time. We also have some sushi to, you know, soak up the stress. Good stuff all around. Um, and now I'm going to watch the newest iCarly episode that just dropped. And um, I got my thread up order um, that I ordered a couple weeks ago. 
um, because I need a lot of new business clothes. So I put in an order at ThreadUp. And because of the stressful situation, I did not read at all today. Oh, actually, well, I did listen to um, my audiobook of Fires of Vengeance. So I'm actually like 40? 40 or 45 percent through it right now um still going great i'm really digging the way that the plot is turning like it's not what i expected but like in a good way it's a good time so i guess i did read today so doing good things out here We just watched Wish Dragon, which mm, is one of my favorite movies. I love it so much, and I'm so glad that we made it one of the movies for Draconathon. We just had a little watch party, and it was so much fun. Thank you to everyone who came. It was such a good time. I'm so glad everyone liked it. I was a little nervous, but everyone enjoyed it at least from what they said in the chat so it was a good time um but if you missed out absolutely no worries if you have netflix you can go stream it at any time and um we also have another watch party for raya and the last dragon which is on disney plus so if you have disney plus we're gonna do a tell watch party for that one as well and that is on the 20th and the day this video comes out we also have a live show <laughs> but if you're not watching this on the day it comes out um, we have live shows every Saturday and it alternates between mine and Jade's channel and we post all that information on our social media channels. In terms of reading for this week, so I did get to the 55% mark for The Fires of Vengeance, which is really wild. I listen to it at like one and a half times speed, but like just every time I'm commuting back and forth to work or um, when I was doing like errands one of the days, I was just listening to it the whole time. So honestly, a good freaking time. I'm really enjoying it as the sequel to The Rage of Dragons. I think I already talked about DNFing just for now just for now i'm gonna try to pick it up later towards the month but um six crimson cranes it's just not my writing style which is totally fine i think a lot of people are going to enjoy it um but it's just not my kind of book so that's fine but i got to page i think like 90 i almost got to page 100 i was so close i got to page 90 in the a natural history of dragons really enjoying it i'm liking the style of it, it is definitely like a slower paced book. So it took a little bit longer to get into it. But now, like the last like 30 or so pages, I was like really, you know, flying at the slow, steady pace. So a good time. But thank you so much for joining me for this first week in Draconathon. It's not too late to join Draconathon if you're just seeing this vlog now and you didn't know Draconathon was happening. No worries, my announcement video is gonna be linked down below. You can definitely still join our group book, which is Blaze Wrath Games, it covers all of the prompts. So if you just wanna read the group book, go for it. But you can also participate by doing any of the other prompts and all our fun activities. So, and we'll see you in the next one. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you are participating, please comment down below what you are currently reading and if you've done any activities so far. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So I'm editing this video and I'm wearing the same headband and a series of gray shirts throughout this entire vlog. It's because every day after work, I change into like a set of pajamas and all of my pajamas are grayscale. Like I don't own a single pair of pajamas that's not a form of gray. Everything's fine. <laughs>